Meow meow, meow meow. Ay, 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 ay. Plus to make sure it's running properly. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -huh. There I am. Hey everyone. How are you today? Happy Wednesday. Infiltration. This is your first time saying hello in chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Redeemed hydrate and posture check. I was gone because I had to go get some tea. So what perfect timing. Let me. Do this really quick. And there goes my tongue. I just burned myself. <laughs> Sipping some tea. But good. How are you today? Okay, pushing button now. Um, just some Irish cream tea. It's basically a black tea. It's basically a black tea that is slightly flavored, I think. So that roughly tastes like Irish cream, but it's not an alcoholic, of course, compared to actual Irish cream. <laughs> testing, one, two, three, testing. That's strange. Well, where's the desktop audio? Oh. I see. Let's... That's really soft. No problem. Take all the lurk that you need. I'm just uh, messing with my settings here a little, really quick. Testing, one, two, three. Hello, everybody. Awesome. Might be a little bit unsoftened, actually. I'll need to do some more playing around with this in the future. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Uh, raise it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I don't want to go into the yellow zone. Or even get close to it. There we go. Testing. Hello. Oh, that's way too loud. Hello. Hello. There we go. Hello. That's. Eh. I get subconscious with how loud I sound when I laugh or something or when I'm excited. <laughs> but that should be fine, right? We'll we'll do it with this for now. Game capture. So that the outward. That music may be too loud. How about there? There we go. As long as I can be heard comfortably over the sound of the music and the fighting, it should be fine. Continue. I keep forgetting to add my new emojis to Twitch. I need to actually make time to do that. What time? It's 4 in the morning right now, and I am hungry, thirsty, and well rested. That's weird. Where's my water? Should have a water skin here. Use. 
Here we go. I wonder why I have all these ingredients anyway. So let's see, what did we do last time? We derped around a dungeon killing ghosties, right? And that was all the way there. That was all the way to the far right. Should see if there's any more quests I could do around town before I head out. Or I could just grind up some money to give to the uh, trainers so they can teach me more skills. I really think that I should be thinking about getting magic in this game because even though you have to sacrifice fatigue and um, your stamina and health, you get to do really cool magical stuff. Because it's kind of boring to just go all melee, you know? I mean, I probably could if I could just keep finding this cool, these uh, rags and what, these uh, elemental rags and stuff, but I don't know. Before that, I should probably accumulate better gear and armor before I head out in town, because as it stands, I die, I still take a little too much damage when I fight people. You know, just a little bit. Run fast and call loudly. 15 coal? Is this really good and cold, I guess? I wonder if we're going to even be seeing any cold weather areas in a while for a while. Wait a minute, it's snowing in game, I just realized. Huh? Snowing? Near the sea? That doesn't happen very often. And yet here it is. It's funny that I was talking about snow just now, and lo and behold, look what's going on. I wonder how long this food is going to last, just chilling here anyway. I should really sell the stuff I don't need. Did I put my money in here as well? I did, right? Yeah, 150 gold. Move to my pocket. You know, all this would be easier if I could just... If I could, like, buy a house again in town or something. Or, better yet, get my lighthouse back so I could live there. What can I do for you? Browse shop. All right. Let's do business. So I think I'm okay with weapons, all things considered. Oh, that's not true. I could always do with better weapons and gear. I don't have any skills that even use swords, so I don't know why I bother keeping that around. Looks like I got some extra stuff here I don't need after all. Don't need that. I guess this improves my defenses. I could all that's always useful. Hmm. I don't remember a lot of these things, to be honest. Need to keep that. And I could sell a bunch of these crustaceans for 9 silver. Since I don't use mana right now, there's this doesn't have any value to me, to be honest. And I could always get more later. I wonder if I can, if I have to combine this with water to make these stability potions. So this is how you make poison lemon, okay? Celestial tooled stools. I do wonder what the ghost size is for. 
much less this Firestone. If I recall correctly, when I was derping around in the dungeon, I found out how to open the second gates to go further into the Trog dungeon. But I don't remember what happened after I went on that adventure. So maybe it would be a good idea to visit back there again. So these are iron, these are double-handed iron weapons, more or less. Do I still have a pickaxe? So I remember I had to use mine. Hey, Steel! Good to see you here today. Did you not have work? So this makes it, makes me heavier. I sold the looter masks, I didn't need those. I wonder if I should learn magic. If I should buy bullets too. A bullet, a gun, handgun might actually be a nice um, secondary emergency weapon to carry around, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Just chilling. Hey Numa, long time no see. How have you been? Fancy seeing you here. Oh. Oh, really? Hey Any takers so far? Mana is energy that flows through everything. Magic is something that requires patience to master. <laughs> to unlock the power of mana, you must travel to a ley line, a place where Ori's life flows straight. The holy mission and the kingdom of Levant have their own paths into the Conflux Mountain as well. Hmm. So I guess I don't need to learn magic right now. If I don't want to. It's just an option. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? I could be boring for a while and play a non-magically powered character and then later decide to go that direction if I find that the game is becoming a little difficult to play without magic. One final interview? That's cool. <laughs> well, good luck for it. Good luck with your interview. Is there something you need? Can you help with this? Oh, hey, finally, a quest I can do. Excellent. Awesome. All right, so I need to go to Berg. Who is Berg? Nice speaking with you. <laughs> I actually don't know who Berg is. Shit. I better check. to go to the general store in a place called Berg. 
Oh, okay. At least that gives me an idea. It gives me a place to go. Let me just go check the town hall to see if there's anything I'm missing up there. Then I'll get my armor repaired, collect my things, and then we'll go on an adventure to Berg. Berg or Angry Berg? That is a good question. I can only assume that they're talking about Berg because there is no mention of the anger of the Ber of the Angry Berg. Of the Angry Birds. <laughs> Angry Birds. Is there anyone up here? Is this whole place just empty? Oh, hey. I can loot the chest inside the town hall because no one's here anymore. A dark, rich hat. After these guys end up fucking up my life, I do not care all that much if I take their things, so... Hat. Well, that's a cool looking hat, if I do say so myself. Although wearing the uh, Perla mask makes me run faster, which I greatly appreciate. Is there anything else I could loot here? <laughs> Berg versus Angry Berg is the eternal question. From whence there shall be no answer, or for which there shall be no- I just realized I'm still hungry. I thought I ate food. Damn it. Well, let's have some miner's omelette. And let's drink some water. Um, it's been fun. I've been, I've been hanging out with a lot of people, or making a lot of new friends in Twitter. I've been more or less integrating with the, with the uh, greater Ian VTuber culture. And I've been fairly content with the, um, with the rate at which my viewer base is growing, I guess? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if I were to get lucky and have a huge, like, onrush of people, but at the same time, it's like... Can I help you? Nah. Stay safe. I got to count your blessings and saw that. Also, I got my first uh, Twitch payout just recently, just, uh, I think, yesterday or so, which is really cool. Let me arrange my desk here so I don't need to bend over while playing. I'm going. I much prefer to just lean back a little bit. There we go. Is it still tracking my face? Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn on the key light. Let me do that really quick. There we go. I'm going to also have to increase the. Uh, 20%? 20% should be good, right? There we go. Thanks. So yeah, that was cool. I wonder where who would have the key to town hall, if anyone. I really need to find a place to put all this junk. On my journey to wherever this place is, burger, whatever, burger, I would much prefer to carry fewer things than more things. Alan, let's make some soothing tea, because I highly doubt I'll be making any ocean for cost anytime soon. How many of these seaweeds do I even have? I can add heal for the next five minutes? Okay, let's start the counter then. Um, by healing, do you also include feeding myself and drinking water, or do you just mean like healing health? 
It's 5.20 right now on my end, so we'll keep that up until 5.25. <laughs> I still can't believe it's snowing in-game at... In, the, in, like, a coastal region. I wonder if this is a random event, or if the game actually is, like, temperature neutral. Like, on day 21, we're just going to make it snow. So, no eating or potions either during the band time. Okay. That's fair enough with me. No problem, Steel. <laughs> what will I bring with me on my journey? Well, I probably should be bringing my money with me. It's kind of dangerous. It's because if I die on the way to Berg, well, I'm shit out of luck. But that's part of the that's kind of part of the danger of playing this game. So I don't think that's really an excuse that I can use. Before I go to Berg, I should probably loot the shit out of the Trog Cave that I visited earlier. So let's go ahead and start with putting things away here. Clear some room in my... Clear some room in my main bag. Keep that. Put that away. I haven't been getting much use of this iron sword. I've just been using a hatchet most of the time. I really need to get more, learn more skills to be more useful in battle. Old lantern's starting to fall apart too. Hey Ace, how are you today? Actually, don't I need one of these? I probably need to bring... Ooh, for one, I need to probably keep one of these. Because I forget if I've opened the Trog Caves or not. What time is it, by the way? Uh, it's 5.24. I guess that pretty soon I'll be able to heal again. <laughs> Seems simple enough so far. I'll keep one tripwire trap with me. I should probably also bring pickaxe with me in case I see anything that's worth mining. Don't need a stealth potion. I can kill trogs fairly easily. And the trogs don't fight using water magic, so I don't need that either. Why am I carrying around a sword if I'm not even going to use it? Keep that. Should I keep the Dark Ridge hat on or use the Pearl Mask? 
I'm gonna keep, keep using my pearl, pearl bird hat, our mask. I don't need to be bringing all this food with me everywhere, so put that in the bag as well. Always got to keep the rations. Going to move this there. I can move. This is used for making poison weapons, which is really cool. I could probably keep these around. Oh, my travel rations are the heaviest thing. Move to Nomad Backpack and we're going to cut this in half. Don't need all those. I don't want to lose this anytime soon either. I can keep the teas with me. Tea is important, you know. Keep this food. And with that, I've reduced the weight of my backpack by like half. fairly based. Lots of festivities at work today. One of our buildings is having its centennial and there's a bunch going on. They even made a podcast for it where they brought in a bunch of important people. That's cool. Uh, it goes okay with me, I guess. My performance at work is dropping a little bit, so my supervisor commented on that. I just need to step things up and probably get back to sleeping at a more appropriate time and it should be fine. So I'm mildly worried about that, but eh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Okay, I think we might be ready to go. Emphasis on the might, though. This should do. Actually, you know what? I should keep the sword with me. Or at least the uh, Rondel Dagger. Because I could use that to make a tripwire trap. Well, better idea. Why don't I just make some spikes using all this excess wood I got anyway? That would make sense, right? Gotta recycle some equipment and all that good stuff. There we go. Gonna put this away, back in the Nomad backpack. Enough spikes there to put in a trip for our up. And it is currently 2 in the afternoon. I should be able to make it to the Trog Cave and back with little difficulty. Hopefully. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's a good point. Except I can't really look at my peers anymore because I work from Need home, something? but I get what you mean. Need something? Warrock, is there anything else you could teach me? Waiting on some scouts to come back from reconnaissance. My warriors and I are the last line of defense for Serzo. Need something? 
Well, here's what I know. I wonder if... It's Scourge Beast, a shell horror specifically near the Ghost Pass. It's probably just a rumor, but better safe than sorry, I say. This worries me. Montic Montcalm tribe in the north and the Kazayth pirates near the coast. <sighs> Several bandit crews decided to join forces with the Vandal Fortress along the Southern Cross. So away from it, they'll enslave you if they capture you. Need something? Man, we're just, everyone just hates us, don't they? Now then, once more into the Trog Cavern. And continue our invasion, our military operation against the Trogs. Special military operation, that is. Also, I just realized that my arms have died again. One second. Easy enough to fix. And just like that, I have hands again. Scrotum suck technique, it's super effective. But who will be doing the sucking? And oh my god, the world looks so much different. When you have a freaking... It's like a whole new world. Oh yeah, I have a machete now, which I can also use for my tripwire trap. Thank you. Oh, that's what happened. I killed a bunch of uh, bandits who were chilling next to my uh, home. Hey, Purbord, if you you will back off if you know what. God damn it! All right, that's it. Stupid bird. Oh, no, you don't. This is a nice warm up for the rest of the game. Pretty much. Bird hunting. He did indeed, and now he is dead, and I am not. Before we go, we're going to go ahead and uh, fry us up some bird steak. Do -do 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 -do. How's the sound settings on your end, by the way? Is the gameplay too soft still? So it sure looks soft on OBS's side. It's A-OK? -okay? okay, I'll just take your word for it then. Manual recipe. Hmm. Cooked meat. What do you need for a meat stew anyway? Uh, it says, says here I need salt, which we got plenty of. Very easy to find. Got plenty of salt. Can't make any ceviche chips, I need trout for that. Cowberry jam, I need that. Artines I cannot make right now because I need that. 
What is this? What am I missing? What What's needed to do this? Oh, I'm dumb. I need water. I mean, duh. I, duh, I need water, right? Meat and plants are at hand. I don't have any plants, though. It's soft music? Yeah, that's true. Hey, Lenarth, how are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I am uh, playing Cooking Simulator right now. More or less. <laughs> Can I take the ship with me too to use in my uh, trip wires? So I need a common mushroom to make the omelets, but I haven't cooked mushroom. Does a cooked mushroom work? Can I just use a cooked mushroom? Ah, that's what's missing. You need a vegetable of some kind. And in my case, grilled mushroom is a vegetable, quote unquote. I'm surprised it doesn't just let me use like grilled fish as a substitute. They sure make a lot of stew too, like six of these? My god. Um, I did not have the chance to pay my debt off anymore because I fucked up the first time and the game is not letting me do, uh, retroactively do that. So I'm like permanently homeless until I buy or build a new place. In the meanwhile though, um, the game is letting me just set up a shop underneath this person's awning, so I've just been doing that the whole time. Alright, let's see how we're doing, like, um, how we're doing. Let's go ahead and eat one of these. Has no properties aside from being filling? Yeah, right. I can clearly have a buff right there. Health recovery 3. Recover 0.3 health per second. I guess it doesn't actually do anything, though, aside from heal you. These other things have seemingly have more, like, uh, uses. Case uses, I should say. I think we'll be fine. Oh, I do need to get a pickaxe somewhere. And I know where one spawns, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it there instead of buying it. Because why bother buying it when it just respawns? I know how you can buy a place. There's this thing called Bonk Coin. I know the internet doesn't exist in Apple yet, but trust me, it's going to get big. Yeah, if we get started now, I'm sure that the um, rates, the uh, cost of Bonk Coin will increase to... Break neck records by the time it internet does arrive in Atward. So that's such a great idea. Mm-hmm. 
Now then, where did I see the pickaxe? It was around here somewhere. Oh, I don't need this. I already know how to make cowboy jam, so drop that. Wait. What am I disassembling? What is this? I can't I can't see. Oh. There's an improvised bedroll there, of course. That would make sense. Was I wrong? Is there no pickaxe here? I thought there was. Here it is. Mining pick. Pickaxes are heavy, man. Man, I mean... And I got too much junk now. Yeah, up over here. When did this happen? Better move this to my bag. Move about three of these to my bag as well. Okay, move to bag. Okay, fine. I'll move... Damn it. Alright. Alright. See you, Numa. Bye bye. Nice seeing you again. Say hi, Tave One, for me. <laughs> what time is it in game? It's six in the evening. Yeah, we could probably make it. It's not that far anyway. All things considered. I need some gaba berries to keep myself warm in these trying times. They're also fairly light, so I don't need to worry about these taking up too much inventory space. It's 
It's amazing how much the world changes when it snows. Just like real life, I guess. I'm thirsty already? Christ. I guess the cold weather makes it more difficult. <laughs> you think so? Ah! Alright, you redeemed the hydrate. Thank you very much. My mouth is getting kind of dry. And there is a... I can't even play with a single head. There we go. You want me to hydrate my... Come on. Ace, what are you... Ah! No! No! What are you doing? Stop! Oh. Oh. Ah. I'm drowning. Oh. Drowning me under the hydration tag. I guess this is why some people literally put limits on how often that can be used. Oh, I feel the hydration now. Alright. No thanks to you. <laughs> I feel the hydration all right. Told you this place was relatively close by. It is? So you weren't kidding about the whole, oh, you can run so fast thing? <laughs> really? I mean, to me, this is pretty slow, so I can't imagine what imagine what it must have been like before. I know Seth said that they had to speed hack the game, but I thought running around was fairly fluid. All things concerned. Do I dare gather more star mushrooms? Eh, I could sell them for a nice penny. Hmm. Well, that's good to hear that they made some significant quality of life improvements to the game since the last time you played. I guess I'm, that means I'm getting one of the better. Uh, I'm getting one of the better experiences to the game so far. In that case. Oh, ooh. well, well, well. I've already okay. Never mind. I guess there's nothing to fight here. But what do we have here? Uh, purpley vein things. Uh, a corpse of some kind. A great life potion, and another iron sword, and a scavenger's coat. Literally took the coat off of this guy. <laughs> Am I cruel or what? Nine, let's see, nine resistances, six impact resistance, a bunch of cold weather survival, and additional pouch? Hmm. The padded armor is obviously still better as armor, but this seems interesting. I like the fact that because it has more pouch, more uh, pockets, I can fit more junk in my trunk, so to speak, which will come very, come very much in handy for reasons that I hope are quite obvious. It's funny to think that I actually started off this uh, escapade by more or less uh, having too much junk to carry around oh so this is why my backpack's so heavy so I need room for the tower shield this is The 
If I'm gonna carry this around, I need to make room for it. But it's very heavy. This is not gonna do. I gotta sell some of this garbage. Okay, I'll attempt to be careful with my with my uh, junk. Um, I, I emphasis on attempt. Resist for resistance. Uh, cold weather survival. Okay, the scavenger boots are clearly better, but the durability is worse. Ah, nope, dash. Thank you for the bits, Ace, but... Ah. No! What are you doing to me? Get... <sighs> what happened? Did I die again? The last thing I remember was being Hydra is getting over a half a dozen Hydra redeems. No! What is happening? Oh, God. Ah! Thank you for the bits, space. Uh, kind of give me a second here to pull myself together. Cop phasing in and out of existence at the moment. Uh, oh no, that's an error with the uh, that's an error with VTuber Plus. I need to actually go into Unity to fix that, but I have not yet. What are you doing? Hype train is close. I think I. Wait. How did I co go back to normal? Why am I still shaking? I'm freezing to death. I think the game is starting to affect me in the in the internet in the Matrix world. At this rate. Woo. Shook is right. I am still shaking. I cannot. I cannot stop shaking. In fact, I. I cannot. I. I cannot. I did not. I did not hit her. I I did not. I've been rephased by force. You're only a bit behind Steely. Steely was actually here not too long ago. He, she went off to go get food. Believe it or not. One more for the scam train. <laughs> I do not approve of scams. A single bit. I have never... This will only be the second time I've ever gotten a hype train before, too. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> I mean, if it were to happen, I'm not saying that... I'm not trying to imply that people sh should feel like they need to give me monies because it is totally unnecessary to do so, but it is greatly appreciated. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> You'll have a limited time to earn exclusive Eva. Stop.
I can breathe. I can breathe. I live. I live. I can't feel my fan. Oh, God. Everything hurts. So, oh, I'm back. I'm, I'm back. I, 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 why am I still shaking? I think... I think I'm caught between realities. All I remember was a place full of nothing but endless, endless alleys of pastel rotting walls and these horrible, horrible, horrible fluorescent lighting. Where am I? Oh, oh, I'm still, I'm still playing video games. Okay. Um, uh, once I pulled myself together and I stopped shaking, we can hopefully can, oh, actually, no, let's see if I can continue playing. In, in spite, in, in spite of, in, in spite of the, in spite of everything that is occurring, I can't, I can barely see what's going on in between the screen moving, vibrating as it is. It's either the screen or myself that is vibrating. Uh, chat, do you see anything wrong with the game itself? Is, is anything, is anything happening right now? It's like, it's like I'm caught in a permanent earthquake or something at the moment. It's fine. If the game is fine, then that can only mean one thing. I'm suffering from arrhythmia, or from arrhythmia. My heart, my heart is shaking. I'm sure, I think that's what they call it, right? Is that what call, what flesh puppets call it when their CPUs just start going nuts? It's, at the moment, I, I'm just, I feel like so, I, this, this must be what they call, what the, people refer to as being in a triggered state what what time is it it's 12 in the morning in game uh let's see how far i can get in my current predicament i should probably take a rest for the night in game since i doubt i'll be able to get much done if i'm still stuck in this form i'm actually Come, is there's got to be something I could do? I feel like I might be shaking just a little bit too hard. Um, I don't feel like this is normal somehow. Unless you know, you unless y'all are like into this sort of thing. Am I right? You call that into the Pentium? Slulls runs on the Pentium. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel good or bad about that, to be on to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> I okay. I'm about to go to sleep. We we will manage to go to sleep after all. Going to bed. Am I still shaking? Is everything still shaking up to now? Let me check my processors really quick. Hype train success. You received a level one hype train emote. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> um, I don't know which one of these is the hype train emote, but. It's um it's one of these things, right? Um Franker's Franker's faces mobile um Amontillados. Oh my god. Scam train emotes. <laughs> I'll tell you I'll let you I'll tell you what, what a scam train emote is. It's not knowing why I'm still vibrating at the speed of light in spite of all known physics. I must I need I need to do something about this. I need to how do I stop myself? Oh thank thank goodness. Woo! That was horrible. You're wel all welcome to do it again though. It was an enjoyable experience, if not a nutty one. <laughs> Alright.
Alright then, what should we do next? Since we have explored the last of the Trog Caves, I suppose we have nothing there to... There's, we have no choice but to actually complete the main quest. Which means we'll need to go back home, dump all our stuff again to make room, and then prepare to head out into Wild Blue Yonder. I did say that that was what our original plan was going to be uh, for this session, so I guess it's time to make good on it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hype train, by the way. It was, as always, much appreciated. Uh, Lull's time is made possible through viewers like you. And other such things. This is not a public broadcasting service, but it is still true all the same. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I know that's where you get the magic. I just don't know if I want to learn magic now or later. Since apparently it cuts your fatigue and uh, health in half. The way things are looking, it looks like it might be necessary to do so. Just from what I'm reading on like all the way the skills work and stuff. Fifteen resistances against melee or against uh, blade weapons and ten against blunt attacks. What are these? What do these things mean? Hmm. What can I do for you? All right. What else here can I put away? Closes bleeding wounds to create life potion. This is a powerful. This is some powerful shit. Honestly. I feel like I should keep this to use with the tripwire trap. Just let lead people into tripwires all day, every day. I wonder if I should sell my padded armor. Probably not. Don't really need another sword, though. Let me go ahead and talk with the trainers up here again. See if there's anything I want to work towards. Amber, my friend. Amba, my friend. So this costs a hundred. And it looks like I don't need to spend any... I think I already bought all these things, right? Yeah. But in order to awaken this, a spell blade... I would need to collect money for it, for one thing. I wonder what other things I can learn. What could I do for you? I wonder. So that's to learn magic. Kind of don't want to make such heavy decisions, so or are just yet, to be honest.
Can I help you? Can you lend me a hand? Yes! Oh, another quest. Rainbow Trout, Seaweed, and Salt. Alright. I thought I already did this quest, though. I wonder if he's going to give me more money for doing it a second time. Let's see if I can get lucky and get myself some trout this time. Salmon and larval egg. Are the fish running away? Did he leave when I approached? Here they are. Another raw salmon. Come on, I need trout. I know there are other fishing spots, but I kind of don't want to wait for these things to respawn, you know? Another raw salmon. Also, I wish that you could make the uh, seafood fricasse, the ocean fricasse, with more than just trout. Since it's, you know, kind of an RNG thing anyway. would be slightly less frustrating. The city looks so much better with a layer of snow, I gotta say. This is a guy fish mo Oh, this is fish So if I wanted to cheat, I could just sell my salmon to this guy and buy some trout. Which is not such a bad idea, actually. Except he doesn't- he pays a pittance for this stuff, so... But I can sell these. Fish is good for a mage's diet. Imagine that. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I could... Let's try it one more time to catch some trout before I start spending my hard-earned silver just to complete this quest. Ah, no other places to fish, I guess. I wonder how long it takes them for to respawn. Maybe it's once per day? Be funny if it responded already. Uh, I didn't think so. That'd be a little too. That'd be maybe a little too convenient, you know. Just a bit. Greetings, All right. friend. Let me buy the trout. Now trade you some of my salmon. Also, this larva egg. Um, yeah, that's about it. Don't have anything else for you, good sir. 
I guess I could use some of my... There we go. Barter system at work. Now I just need to make myself some food for the guy and we'll be good to go. I wonder if I could just sell if I could just sell salt, keep gathering salt and selling that to people. Yeah, it'd probably take a long time to do it that way though. Here we go. Put the excess in here. Uh, it's also possible that I didn't complete this quest because the game kept crashing in between doing the stuff and I didn't and I forgot or something. Can I help you? Can you lend me a hand? Yes! Wait. Okay, so he, uh, what did he do? <laughs> In return for the ceviche, he gave me a bunch of ocean for cuss. You know, I guess I can't be angry at him for doing that. But I do need to unload Can I help my you? excess stuff here. Do I know how to make a mineral tea already? So I need to get some gold or some silver so I can learn the um, the uh, shield bash technique, which seems very important to do. It's funny that he's buying machetes for five silver. Here, dude. Please, take these off me. And I wonder if this is two silver per ration. Oh, it was. That's interesting. I got plenty of rations in my Nomad backpack since I didn't take all of them with me. I'm gonna keep these teas with me. They're kind of important. Let's go ahead and learn the uh, shield bash technique from the trainers here. Since I've decided Amber, to use a shield. It only costs 100 though. I didn't need to spend that much. This is the one that costs a lot. I want to see what other skills there are to learn. Elemental Discharge. I 
That looks fun, actually. Alright, so, uh, shield charge, right? Interesting, interesting. Assign the quick slot, number three. Oh, that's interesting. The cooldown time is terribly long, though. And I'm hungry. In game, that is. Hmm. What's this boon here? Uh, mana recovery from eating fish? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Since I got some extra money left, I should probably be using that to get steadier and steadier better weapons so I can survive a little bit better. What could I do for you? All right. Supposedly, I could find better weapons out in the wild, but just surviving in the wild is kind of a pain. So I'm not sure if I want to risk it. The giant key just looks fun to use, not gonna lie. Okay, so these are definitely the same kind of weapon. Why is the giant iron key so slow? Twenty for the iron axe. Hey, Marianne Netta, welcome to the stream. How are you today? <laughs> You know what, I think I will buy the Hatchet Iron Axe since I'm going to be going with this uh, build anyway. Unequip that. And equip this. Assign to a quick slot. E. And then move this to the pocket. Thank you. Box of Lad Hammer. Prowess Shop. What else can I sell here? I got so rich in this game without even leaving a starting village. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that too. Just selling things to the shopkeepers constantly. Especially the spoils of uh, dead bandits and whatnot. What could I do for you? All right. Do I really need the... Yeah, I guess it's better in the cold, but... I'm getting my ass handed to me when I wear... when I... wear this. I just made potions because of all the stuff in the village and the refresh every two days. <laughs> uh, Steel, why don't you get some tacos? That seems like a good thing, a good idea, right? Whoa, why is the range on this on this axe so big it's great I can actually hit stuff now
do 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 Is this food gonna rot by the time I come I come back on my trip? Hope not. I have enough food for my adventure. I should probably spend the silver to repair all my equipment, huh? Since I can't repair my equipment as it is. Pearl bird, pearl bird mask is starting to fall apart too. Sushi is great, but it's a little pricey, that's yeah, true. Oh, hey, hero state. Hey, yeah, here's train. Long time no see. How have you been? As you can see, I've completely or more or less recovered from the uh, tragedy that took place earlier in this game. Unfortunately, I could not buy back my lighthouse, so I'm pretty homeless right now. Living on the... Uh, living or squatting within someone's house, as it were, in that little abode over there. I wonder if it's worth it to even repair the pearl bird mask. Because this is this guy charges an arm and what a leg I do for you? to repair All equipment. Right. I mean, fifty silver? God. Here's what I need. I want to get blue sand, but I don't have. I need to get two things of blue sand for that. What can I? So do that's gonna take you? a while. Your equipment will be worn down to repair your gear. Dedicate time to it. With oh, you can you can just repair your armor by yourself. I'm dumb. I didn't realize you could do that. Well, bye. Oh, I don't need you then. What time is it in game? It's uh two in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're great, Hero Stream. Alright then. Let's go ahead and pack our bags and go on an adventure. I said I said in the uh, stream stuff that I was going to go visit a different town for once. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But I want to make sure that I'm actually prepared for the trip. So we need to bring a bunch of our food with us for one thing. And also... Took all the stuff that's going to spoil. Going to bring my cooking pot with me as well, please. Thank you. I don't need to get a camp, bring a campfire with me because I can just get that from tearing apart uh, trees along the way. Pisca? Hmm, interesting. I've never heard of that before. What else am I bringing with me? Uh, torches. I got an antidote and a life potion. I got... Hmm, elemental resistance. Don't need that. Should I bring one of these cloth rags to help me fight people? Hmm. I'm afraid of the food spoiling before I get back home. But something tells me that it will not. I just have a hunch. Mm. 
in just a wee hunch. Oh, I do have more than one blue sand. I could actually build some blue armor if I really if I save up the money to do so. I don't really need the small sapphire anymore, so I can just sell that. I'm gonna get my blue sand there. I could probably just sell all this excess salt that I don't need. Move it. That's for making potions. This ceviche is getting old, so we can sell that. Hmm. What else can I dump here? Don't really need the felling great axe anymore, so we'll put that. Or the quarter staff for that matter. I kind of want to bring the hat with me. But I like my mask, so I'll keep the mask. Is this enough to make 200 gold? Or 200 silver? I don't know why I keep saying gold. It's silver. Uh, move about. Call, sell a bunch of these. And also a couple of these. I could probably make more meats too, so if I found any more meats. I didn't realize, I forgot I had like four of these life potions. But there's supposedly a pain they has to come along, come by. Greetings, friend. I'm really tempted to, oh man, he has new items. I guess they get new items every day. Hey, I can get a I can get a wizard's hat. That'd be cool. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm just gonna sell my stuff to this guy instead, I guess. Give me all of your monies. He's not paying me that well much, though, is he? Sell a bunch of these. Sell one of these. 35 silvers. Sapphire. Sell my ocean for costs. All of my beetles. This uh, old ceviche. He's gonna even buy my Godberry Tartine off of me, huh? That's cool. What else can I sell? Oh. I don't need these this stuff either, actually. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Buddhist as well. Machette. Parting with junk that you are not gonna that you don't need or are not gonna use anytime soon. It's so difficult sometimes. Okay, I just need to sell Greetings, two more friend. item two more things here. Are you buying salt? Or can I convince you to eat some of my salt? No? Okay, fine. Have some food. Okay. Now it's time to craft some armor. Good armor. What can I do for you? Here's what I need. Boots. All this shit just to get boots. Well, bye. How long is it going to take you to make me some boots, old man? I hope they look good boots, said at least. 24 hours. Okay. Whatever. We might as well go explore, explore the overworld in the meanwhile. It's only 4 in the afternoon, so we got plenty of time to piss around. 
I feel much lighter already. I say that, but I have so much junk here. I need to make some more bandages, at least. Amelite boots. I think I sold all this stuff, actually. Because I couldn't make any use of it. I also just remembered that apparently you can break down items that you no longer need into other items. It's not going to let me break down the quarterstaff, though. Have a good night, Lenar. Thank you for stopping by. Always appreciated. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Always appreciate it to see you here. All right, talk to Loud what Hammer. What can I do for you? All right. Uh, shop. He's not buying my quarter staff. Why do I even have a quarter staff with me then? For walking, I guess. But it's so heavy. It's a little too heavy to keep around, honestly. Space is a premium, you know. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Be gone, thought. Can I, like, repair this? Is this something that gets repaired? In your... Well, let's try it, I guess. So first, put this away. We have food. Alright, that should do. Let's go to sleep. Didn't I have a... Oh, wait. I have a tent. That's what I'm doing now. Because you can tell it's nighttime. It's 6 in the evening. Even then, you don't necessarily need to go to sleep. You can just repair your stuff. Which I keep forgetting is a thing. Use the fur tent. We're going to do some repairing, and we'll sleep for the rest. Let's have a full night's sleep, actually. Well, six hours should do. Nah, full, full night's sleep. Confirm. You are very thirsty. Now I'm not thirsty. How about them apples? Hmm? Are my items actually repaired though? Does it? It does repair them. Completely. Cool. I don't know why I sound surprised by that. The little things, I guess. But wait, is my are my lanterns repaired? 
No, I guess these aren't. Drop. Do I need to bring the water with me? Eh, probably not. 30, 50. A bunch of spicy teas. The mining pick is with me as well, in case I need to cart anything home. Inside in this in number five, in case I need to heal for some reason. All right. Let's fill up with some water and let's get going. Have a nice breakfast. Uh, there we go. I wonder if they're done making those nice boots. You would think, right? That would make sense. What could I do for you? I can't win this game. What the fuck? Really? Come on, dude. It's seven in the morning. <laughs> but okay. Maybe later. I think I've visited most of Church and East except for the tower, except for the mountain. Because, but you know. There are some ancient ruins here I haven't visited yet. The ones down here, for example. I've gone through... I know that you have to get through the fort to get to the Cabal of the Wind Tower. And I haven't bothered with that yet because in order to do... Because to do that, or part of doing that, you kind of need to be a mage already, right? There's another bandit camp down here. I guess we should go spelunking over here in the ancient ruins and see what's over there. I want to know where Berg is. Is it in the Hallowed Marsh or in the Inneker Forest? Hmm. Let's go check out those ruins at the bottom, at the uh, bottom, far south. See what nonsense we could find there. So we should be nearing a crossroads fairly soon, which is around here or so. So I think we should head this way. I think this is the road, right? It's hard to tell sometimes. I suppose it's not a big deal either way. If I have a full tank of gas, I often like just going out and getting lost in the city where I live because you can find new places or new cool things to look at that way. As the next once we used to one used to call it, it's just an adventure. Sometimes in the most literal man or most literal form of the word, I should say. God though. What a beautiful setting. Ooh, giant bones. Hmm. 
Makes you kind of wonder what use, what that thing used to be, huh? Stuff like that. Do 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 do. In before I get killed. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going the wrong direction because if I was going southward, I should have run into the purple stuff by now. I'm probably around here instead. Maybe took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, hyena. I haven't fought one of those yet. And I think it's... Oh, they've boat spotted me, I bet. Or maybe not. If they had spotted me, they would be coming after me by, by now. There's three of them, hmm? Not two, three. Curious. Whole bunch of bones here. I wonder who these bones belong to. The hyenas or some other creature? It's very interesting that there's... Oh, there's a lot of bones here. Is this some sort of dragon den? It's a hyena burrow. Somehow, I don't understand. I don't know why I didn't realize that to begin with. I know from experience that... Oh, those are some nasty looking hyenas. They got like some bony armor of some kind. But my arrows do fair amounts of damage to him, it looks like. Fairly easy to dodge, too. I have a feeling that this is supposed to be a low-level monster. Ooh, hide. Hmm. It is a low-level monster. I was probably expected to fight these things at one point earlier in the game instead of rushing to kill bandits. Because they're an easy source of both meat and furs and other nonsense. Did you just try to dodge my attack? That's pretty good. Unfortunately, you're not good enough. Pitta is going to be pissed when they find out I've been abusing animals again in-game. Okay, okay. That was actually fairly easy, all things considered. It feels like we're just harvesting these creatures now. Hmm. Interesting. Fang axe. So. What the fuck? 21 damage? 18 impact? Why did I even bother buying an axe so I can just make a hex from for nothing? And then provide. And then a primitive satchel? Hmm. I mean, this thing is better than my currently equipped. Wow. That's kind of sad. Where is my axe anyway? It should be here in the pocket. No iron axe in my inventory. What do you mean I don't have an iron... Oh. That's why it's an upgrade to the Iron Axe. <laughs> well, I appreciate it here, Strain. But as you can see, I've gotten a lot more used to the gameplay. That was actually the easy. I was about to. I was about to joke. That was the easiest fight I've had in the game so far. I mean, compared to the bandits and the giant shrimp, and the ghosts and the. And now I have this awesome, badass-looking axe. 
And I'm freezing to death also. What the shit? It's getting cold out here, chat. Can catch a cold. Alright, let's uh let's go inside here. Enter the hyena burrow. You know, these hyenas remind me of the, do of the bone dogs from, um, from that, uh, other indie game, um, that was all, that was also reviewed by Seth, Kenshi. Oh, okay, I'll just call you here from now on, sorry about that, and, oh, 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 shit. I didn't expect to get attacked right on entering, and yet, having just said that, I feel stupid because... What the hell did I expect? Of course they're going to attack right as I entered. It's their burrow. I should probably equip a lantern first. And also walk in with all my weapons and shields equipped also. But, um... So I have the common cold now, I guess? Or it just means that I'm freezing to death right now. There we go. Protects against the cold. Okay. Let's try this again. Thank you. Okay, so there's only one of them, it looks like. I could be wrong, though. Oh, I've missed. I'm coughing? Oh, great, I got the common cold. This doggo is dead, though. Let me drink this to cure the common cold, which is now receding. I should probably make more of this tea. Dead pearl bird? Take old lantern? No, I'm gonna keep the old lantern there so it could keep lighting up the room. Lighting up the area. Very useful. Old worker's corpse. Needle tea. Indigestion. A mining pick. Some bandages for if I get. I learn how to make a national potion too. Cool. I like how there's also no maps. So when you enter a dungeon, you need to be very careful to not get lost because some of these places are legit like labyrinth and type things. I think I may have murdered all the hyenas that are living inside here because that's the entrance, right? That's interesting. That's all, folks. Nothing else to see here, I guess. What kind of illness does common cold do in this game anyway? Or just stam negative stam regen? Looks like it, yeah. The cave no longer has anything living in it, so I just looted the corpses, and... Went back outside. 
It looks like my clothing is not warm enough for this weather. It is fairly cold out here, I will say. Now then, what to do next? Hmm. I guess we'll continue on our journey. Let's go ahead and cook some of this hyena meat. Where 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 is it? I know I know I saw it here. My arrow. Equip. Hey Vim boy, how are you tonight? <laughs> Welcome back to the stream. Oh, okay. So you're just chilling in the whole time. Mm -hmm. How's work going for you? Just a back on lurker. <laughs> I hear ya. Ooh, a spice beetle. Don't need that though. Cook some meats. A slab of meat. Meat tree eats. Do, 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 do. Thank you for the hydrate, Baka. Welcome back to the stream. You hurt your back and can't sit up properly, so it's a little bit tricky. But I'll be but you'll be fine. Alright, I hear that. I'm sorry that your back got hurt. I hope you feel better. Shortly. <laughs> Godberry jam requires one more Godberry. Uh, where am I going to find another Godberry? Somewhere hereabouts, I guess. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna go find the road again, which has been obscured by this foul weather, which is part of the reason why I got lost for a second there. And we're going to continue southward to go check out those ancient ruins that I saw there, because that's totally a safe thing to do. At least that was my plan, but I have 39.6 weight here in my, my backpack, which is kind of concerning. 
I should probably make a veil of these things first. I see a bird. I don't feel like fighting a bird right now. A bird brain, if you if you will. Is this the road? I honestly don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, so there's the road. And here's some more gobberries. Always gotta harvest the gobberries. And actually, that's where Serzo is right there. Hmm. Along with some corpses that I left in my wake. Let's keep... This time we're going to be a little bit more careful about following the road so we don't get as lost. And judging from that guy's equipment there, from both of their equipments, I'm going to assume that those are bandits. Let's go ahead and get first strike on them. Not today, buddy. Oh, I missed. Ha. Fail. Got you. His, bu his uh, buddy has vanished, though. Hmm. What's he carrying, anyway? A worn Guise arm. Gonna sell that back to the uh, blacksmith dude. Hi there. Oh my god, I got him right in the head, too. Got you. Give me your machete. Give me all your crap, actually. Should probably go back into town this time. Sell this junk and then continue on my merry way. Do I dare kill the chicken as well? I can't hit a fucking bird the size of a... No, don't run away. Damn it. Just wasted a bunch of my arrows. Karma's a bitch sometimes in this game. On the bright side, I get to try out my new axe. Don't run! Okay, I guess you can run. Quite fast, in fact. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to hit you from this far. Ha! I was wrong. Alright. What time is it? It's, uh, 3 in the afternoon. Let's go back home for a little bit. My reign of terror will pause for now. Man, I'm beat. In game, that is.
Once you learn all the mechanics of this game, it does kind of feel comfy to play, just in general. What can I do? All right. Hi, Loud Hammer. I got more shit to sell to you. Predator bones? You pay eight silver for this? Shit, dog. You should have told me. <laughs> wow. It's kind of based. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Making bank. Making fat stacks. Fang trident, fang sword, fang shield, a fang shield? Hmm. Well, I already have a pretty awesome shield as it is, so. Give me your silvers. Give me the silvers. Do 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 do. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> Are any of these good for a cold welder survival? I guess not. But I should make more. I'm gonna grab these so I can make some more tea. Mm hmm. More tea for me. I don't know why, but I could have sworn that there was a... I feel like I'm supposed to be using this ochre spice beetle for something else. I could have sworn I saw another recipe that used that, and I... Well, I thought to myself, hmm, if only I had more spice beetles. And I don't remember what it was. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually, and I'll punch myself in the face for forgetting. Oh, that's why. Pungent paste. You can make... Pungent paste now with this. This is very important. So I'm going to make one of these first. And this is for curing the common cold. I can also make some delicious meats too. To bring with me on my journey. <laughs> At least you threw something soft and lovable at my head. I don't mind so much when that happens. Getting hit with uh, flippers, however, reminds me a little too much of bad things. Indigestion. Soothing tea. A bunch of meats. Meat stew. What time is it in game? 5.35. I wonder if my new boots are finished yet. Lawler's got a new pair of blue suede boots. What can I do for you? All right. Awesome. Blue sand boots. Oh, they even look fancy. Protection 2. Again, uh, 14 resistance against armor. Stamina cost plus 4 and movement speed negative 4%. On top of that, they don't protect against cold very well, do they? Hmm. And they're heavy. Shit, nine. Nine. <laughs> but they are beautiful, that's right. I'd consider it a well-worthy exchange. 
Kind of store them here for now. I think I'm going to... I wonder if it only lets you repair currently equipped items, and that's the reason why they weren't prepared. Repairing restores your equipped items durability. Okay. There we go. That's the problem. It needs to be equipped. So, equip that. So, if I equip a lantern, is it going to repair the lantern then? Is that how this works? Mm-hmm. I know, right? Probably the only redeeming factor of this village is that they don't mind if you pretty much uh, sleep anywhere. They'll gladly make you homeless in this game, but God forbid will they let you sleep? Will they? They will not. They will not mind if you sleep in their awning. Priorities, am I right? Priorities. All right, now let's see if it did anything. You are thirsty. I'm aware I'm thirsty. It did not repair the lantern. Ha! Ah. All right. I guess I'll just have to be careful then. I did not know there was an Attack on Titan tribute game, to be honest. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Hmm, very interesting indeed. <laughs> sure sounds like it. To be honest, I wasn't really that into Attack on Titan when I was younger. But it's probably just because it was all over the place. Like, I used to be into Naruto back when it was just a Shonen Jump uh, manga. But when it became super popular and everyone was saying, Believe it! And um, the anime came out, I lost interest. Hmm. Let's try going to the purple zone to the purple zone this time. Yeah, I liked Naruto before it was cool. Hey, piss off. I swear to god, you 
goddamn bird. I'm gonna stab this. I'm gonna chop your head off if you get anywhere near me. Try it, bitch. Just try it. Try it. Alright. Oh, great. More bandits. They are not happy that I've been killing their men. Like, wholesale. I'm also running out of arrows, so that's becoming difficult. Alright, let's try combat with my new equipment, shall we? Ow. You bastard, you hit me. Wait, why is my hatchet not equipped? God damn it. Not again. Anyway, he's dead. It keeps happening where I keep unequipping my hatchet for some reason. So I'll need to heal up really quick. Looks like this guy over here is trying to figure out what happened to his buddy. Oh, he's going to fight the bird. Brace your bets now. Bird versus man versus bird versus birdman, attorney at law. Gotta say that that never gets old. He seems confused. Do I go after the bird or do I attack this chick who is filling me with arrows? And he somehow dodged a bunch of my arrows. Oh, shit. Ow. Bastard. One second. Uh, and you're dead. That hurt a lot. Shit. That man really wants that bird. That bird fucked his wife and pissed on the moon. I wonder how many bandits actually respawn in this game. Am I just going to be killing bandits for days? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff again so I may get space and get more gold and get more silver. <laughs> the bandits must have 70 alternate accounts that's why they keep respawning in the same place what else do you got for do you what do you have for sale today Greetings, friend. you got uh, the stuff I sold you earlier you got this uh, straw hat that's cool. You got a wizard hat. You got a bunch of the junk I sold you earlier. You got a bunch of the junk I sold you earlier. Can I just travel with you? Greetings, friend. Two. Yes. Uh, Farewell, my friend. Nah. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, my friend. I'll make my what own way up there. Do for you? All right. I'm kind of poor. I can't really afford to just constantly, you know. All right. Are we ready? We are ready, ready. Uh, I need arrows. I'm running out of arrows. 15 arrows there. I should probably bring some salt with me so I can make some food. Or do I have lots of food? I got eight travel rations. The day is young, so I say just think, fuck it. We'll just go ahead and go off on our journey. We're going to go explore the ancient ruins to the deep south today. Hopefully without too many distractions, I say, as I keep entering and leaving Chersonese.
southward. This game can be very relaxing. Never found Skyrim relaxing, even with all the mods I added to it, to be honest, and I don't know why. May I just play it for too long? And got a little too tired with uh, Bethesda's shit. Oh. Okay. I have full water. For a moment there, I thought I forgot to do that. Do 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 do. Conflux Mountain. Once we reach that, we're going to make it right, and we're going to follow the path around, and around, and around. We're going to see if we can get to the ancient ruins in the far south from here. I also still want to find that shipwreck that the, my buddy mentioned earlier, when, before he left town. He said something about the moon commanding the stars, some cryptic nonsense that's supposed to help me get free stuff. We sure have gone a long way from barely surviving to thriving, more or less. I wonder how many people this game turned away from sheer difficulty alone. I will always cherish sticking with something that's really painful and then eventually just getting a, if not mastery, then something akin to a understanding of it, I guess? I don't know what to, I don't know what you would call that. Go this way. Temperature, very cold. Yeah, I bet it'd be very cold. We're next to a fucking mountain. Do, 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 do. Where are we now? Probably around here somewhere. Actually, it looks like I might actually have to climb the mountain to get to those ancient ruins to begin with, so maybe I done goofed? Hmm. Well, we'll see. What's about what's across the river bend? Looks like I'm starting to freeze my tits off. I should probably make a fire and warm up a little bit. I'm glad that making a fire is painless in this game, more or less. That's the sort of thing that has the potential to be really annoying. We should also probably get to higher ground. Huh? This is not a bad place to set up, actually.
There we go. You can already see that I'm starting to uh, warm up a little bit. <laughs> Your body temperature is back to normal. Well, that's good to hear. Broken tent? This wasn't here before, was it? Have I been here before? Now I know how to make dry mushrooms. I need some soothing tea, so I'm going to be bringing this with me. Don't need a cooking pot. I could probably sell this. Give me the t the uh, seaweed so I can make some more tea. I'm tempted to take the water skin. That's rather heavy. And I'm running out of space. Concoction. Oh, weather defense potion. I need to bring those with me, actually. Eh. Fuck it. I guess I could bring the cooking pot with me, too, and just sell that back in town. This broken tent implies that someone's been here recently. Bullets. And spikes. Yes, please. And just like that, I'm already filled up. I'm going to warm myself up a little bit, and then we'll continue our journey. Need to guard from an ambush a little bit. Don't really need to sleep. I could probably take a short nap. We'll take some time. Don't need to repair anything yet. Am I warmer? Did that work? No, but I am thirsty. Hmm. I wonder if I can take apart the pistol bullets. Probably not. This will be useful. It's honestly really hard to get around when it's this cold. And I don't have any room in my pack now. So it's like... How am I supposed to explore the ancient ruins if I can't? Hmm. An issue for another time, I guess. At least I'm not suffering from the cold now. Let's head back home for now. Sell more stuff. Make some more preparations, and then we'll head back out into the wild blue yonder. I've traveled around enough in this game that I think I can find my way back without having to look at the map, but I could be wrong. We might end up getting lost again. Wouldn't that be fun?
This is the place where I'm supposed to go north, right? Let's see. music never gets old. Yeah, it's not home, but over there is. Just around this bend. That's a stash. Apparently empty though. So I didn't put anything in there. Not recently anyway. Every time there is a slight slowdown like that, I kind of get a little bit paranoid that the game's going to crash again. But ever since I underclocked my GPU that has not ever uh, has not happened since I wonder when the cold season's going to end in this game it's day 24 you really took for granted the fact that it was nice and sunny all the time with the occasional rainfall. I didn't even expect it to like snow in a clearly coastal area. <laughs> Greetings, friend. I'm really starting to wonder if I should yes. just take the carrot on her. Take me to her mutton, two and silver, two rations. Farewell, my friend. That costs a lot, Farewell, anyway. My friend. I'd still much rather explore on my own, if at all possible. What can I do? For All right. Really? That's interesting. Floating by? I understood you the first time, no worries. Wood spikes versus... Only 2.49? Move. 
I have too much food again. Funny how it keeps happening. Wait. You mean to tell me I forgot my... So that's what happened. I forgot my cooking pot again. I keep doing that for some reason. Bad habit. And I may have a little too much food, as it were. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to finish all this before they all spoil. But they spoil fairly slowly, it looks like. So maybe it won't be a problem. Sure doesn't seem like a problem so far, anyway. I should probably just make some more travel rations. Eleven travel rations, in fact. I have so much meat stew. <laughs> How much meat stew do I even have? The answer is a lot of meat stew. In fact, I can pretty much just take... Do they combine them together into one... Oh, no. It combined all of them together. Hmm. No! Don't combine the pungent paste with the... Ah, oh, shit. That was dumb. I was going too fast, and I, uh... Destroyed my pungent paste, which I needed, which you basically keeps you going. Uh, and I got way too many travel rations. Like, way too many. On the bright side, I don't think I need to worry about travel rations anymore, because I got so many travel rations. Like, literally so many. There's so much travel rations... That it takes up 22 pounds worth of inventory space. I could probably sell all this stuff for a nice profit. And I still will have too many. But I'm not going to. I don't need that much money right now. I'm going to instead put most of this away. I think even 11 is maybe too much. There we go. Four travel rations. I'm kind of curious about how far I can go just by running straight to the other side of the map. And I want to really, I really want to see what's on the other side, what is over there. I'm a little bit frustrated because I keep going a certain distance, finding cool stuff, running out of room, and then heading back and then selling mail junk. You know? Let's see how far we can go. Let me just get some water. And then we'll move, and then we will depart. Fairly sure I won't even really need. I don't think I really need to bring the cooking pot with me at this point. Because I got so much food, it's not even funny. Well, I got these anyway. Made the point is that I can't necessarily go adventuring and bringing home crap to sell and loot if I want to go visit the other side of the map. 
I just need to kind of do one or the other. That's not such a big, bad idea. That's not such a bad idea. See how far I can get. It's only five in the evening. We'll go at first dawn then. Let's have breakfast before we leave. Try to get to the Vigil Pylon. We'll visit those ancient ruins another time. Awesome. Hey, bird. I ain't afraid of no bird.
I see it. The giant big ass pylon in the distance. The vigil pylon. What great secrets does it hold? That's a question we're hopefully going to be able to find out today. The answer to, I mean. You see that? Them some sort of purple thing over there. Curious. What is that? Hmm, a mana stone. Interesting. All right then. Looks like we're not far from the giant gem tower of sorts. Nearly an enemy in sight. And having said that, I'm sure that I just doomed myself. How to get up there? It's kind of strange how the technology in this game changes from primitive to medieval to where the fuck this is so quickly. I mean, you notice there's a water purifying uh, device in my town, right? That's yeah, another one of these dead creatures. A bunch of them, in fact. I'm curious because earlier in the town in the um in the town they mentioned that these things were walking out and about but I found two of these so far and they've both been very dead at least I think they're dead I don't know why they're lit up like that and I can't interact with them in any way so I could just assume that either they're supposed to sp spawn like that or something is very wrong. <laughs> This place looks like it's seen better days. I hope the people here are not hostile. So all these... You know, I'm really starting to think... That these things are supposed to be hostile and they are all just happen to be dead for whatever reason. Oh. Well, that is not good. Seth wasn't kidding. I think that tower is actually screaming for whatever reason. Are these things supposed to be dead, though? All of them are dead, it looks like. They're just sort of chilling here. Ah, ghost eye.
A vigil tomb, huh? I wonder if this are like auto automatons or what? If they move in a set pattern, I could probably uh, go around them and go explore upstairs. Either way, they don't seem to have noticed my presence. And I'd like to keep it that way. It really does sound like they're screaming. Is this one alive? Oh, they are parts. These are like... Droids or something. Can't tell half the time if these things are alive or what. Vigil lock key is required, huh? Alright. Then I guess we'll have to enter the tomb then? Oh, check that out. The hyenas appear to be fighting the drones. Looks like the hyenas have lost, though. I wonder if monsters actually, like, roam in this game. So maybe the drones were roaming, maybe the, uh, big, big boys they were roaming around. And they just happened to run to follow the drones and got stabbed to death? See what's inside here, shall we? No idea. Uh, it looks sort of like the green thing looked like a drone, and the flaming one looks like it was a drone with a flamethrower attached to its head. The lore in this game is wild, man. <laughs> and now we're inside a tomb of some sort of steampunk looking uh, environ. Oh, no, it's the ghosties. No, it's the ghost knights. I fought these things before, but they're kind of a pain in the ass without ethereal weapons. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here yet. And I only have one uh, ethereal potion left, and I left it back at home. So, and I don't have enough arrows. You need like 30 arrows to kill one of those things. Otherwise, it's such a pain in the ass. We'll come back here some other time. But yeah, if you listen very closely, you can actually hear that tower appearing to, like, scream. I suspect it has, like, souls in it or something. I bet if we go inside that tomb, that the key to accessing that tower will be present. In the meanwhile, though, let's go ahead and skedaddle. They sure put a lot of history into this game, you know? So, we are now here. We're gonna go to the Enmerker Forest and see what there is to see there. <gasps> oh my god! It's the crashed ship! So that's what uh, Yazan was talking about. He said that there is a stash here for us to pick up. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I've been looking for this ship all game, and I finally found it. He did mention it was in the southeast. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to check here. Or did he say southwest? Well, whichever. Free loot, here we come. Who knows what horrors he's got stashed away in that ship. Is that gold? An iron vein. For making arrows, no doubt. Alright. Crystal powder. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, that's a lovely ship. Now, what did he say? The moon commands the stars? And he says I'll know what that means. More scrap with which to make more arrows. Why is this electrified? Ow. Who threw something in my face? Oh, that was you, hero. <laughs> you spooked me for the moment there. For a moment, I thought it was the game that made that noise. How do I get into the ship? Preferably without killing myself. The moon commands the stars, he said. He also said I would know what this means. Well, this is convenient. Slowly. How, how do I how do I progress? How do I no! So you can't go any further than that. Hmm. It kind of seems strange that it would just happen to fall like this, doesn't it? Oh, there's a... Ha ha! Here it is. So push the moon... And then push the stars.
Awesome. A nice bottle of wine. A whole bunch of coins. And also a dagger. Another dagger. Cool. This should hopefully be helpful in the time days ahead. And I'm starting to freeze again. I better drink another one of these. This is my last bitter spicy tea. I'll need to make a fire and brew some more. Which shouldn't be too difficult, actually. Hold up. I can't do that. I don't have a cooking pot with me this time. Damn it. Well, I could just eat the insects trade, I guess. Or, preferably, I can leave this this uh, cold zone. I can just go into the forest, see what awaits me there in a completely new area. Nico, Nico, ni. Some eggs here. I'm curious, why is this... Is there something here? What in blazes is that? I have a bad feeling about this chat. Voltaic hatchery. What is a what is a voltaic hatchery? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is not spooky at all. Some dead trogs here. Looks like they've been massacred. Just straight up massacred. All of them. Bunch of bones. Open looter's corpse. This is a foo. Oh, food. Gonna eat some. And this heals the common cold. Put this into my bag. Put this into my bag as well so I can use it. Something tells me I should not be here right now. Star mushroom. Oh, well, um, uh, mm, mm. I think we will, uh, we will excuse ourselves now and, uh, not entice, uh, um, uh, I disagree with your assessment. <laughs> I don't think I will say hello to them ch quite just yet. Maybe later. <laughs> I'm carrying quite a lot of stuff right now. I do would rather not lose at the moment. Ow. You know what's funny? 
The last time I went to a cave and saw a person just chilling there, I thought they were an enemy too. But then I noticed that they didn't turn hostile immediately, and I was able to talk with them. They were also an automaton. Those things though, look like they're about to make a beeline straight for me. So, probably not a good idea. We will return another time. When I have more gear. Now then, where were we? Oh yes. Gonna turn around from over here. We are over here at the moment. Or no, we're over here. This must be the voltaic hatchery. We're gonna make a right over here. And I think, yeah. I'm guessing this must be the passageway to Enmerker Forest. The battlements look empty. Giant trees with vicious arcane monsters sprawling about. Travel rations required. 3 out of 14? Let's do it. So this is the direction to Berg. Hmm, interesting. This must be a big game. Look at this shit. Wow. Ain't that lovely. It's so lush. Look at this cold. Look at the grass and stuff. Ten minutes, rice. <laughs> I am such a slut for trees. Look at this shit. It really does. A lot more than here, so that's for sure. Raw rice. Oh, man. What is that? That spooky person. Let's avoid them. Whoa! Lonely Tower, Abandoned Docks, Old Windmill, Fort, the City of Berg! Ow! Shit! I did, like, no damage to that thing. Meanwhile, it did all the damage to me. Did it just... I am not dying today, buddy. Wait, I got an idea. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, okay, I did like no damage to it. Great. That, that's, ju that's just beautiful. That's just what I need right now. This is what I'm saying. You need spectral weapons to kill these ghosty boys. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting your ammunition.
That did a lot more damage than I expected, actually. Huh. So did that. There we go. Ow! Fuck! Oh man, that hurts. Good thing I got that healing potion after all. How do you miss from that range? No fang axe in inventory? Are you serious? Oh, it must be in the bag still. Shit. I need to break line of sight. Okay. Dodging it out of the way, huh? Why are you still... The controls are trying to kill me. This is a big-ass tree. Wait. Need to rest or something? If I just stay out of the way, I can regain some of my stamina and maybe beat his ass. Ow, shit. Nah, that's not good. Why can't I use my spell, my skills? Shit! At least I dropped my bag in the wilderness so I can just pick it up again. That's the first time I've died in this game in a while. Oh, I got saved again.
by Gev, no less. He gave me my backpack. Huh. Thanks a lot, Gev. Much appreciated. Yeah, I owe you one, Gep. Thanks again. Much appreciated. I like the music in this stage, too. Very comfy. It's a good thing he saves my ass. I don't know where I am, though. That's the other problem. When you get saved, it, since there's no checkpoints and stuff, you get lost really fast in this game. But at least I'm alive. And would you look at this landscape? This is fucking beautiful. Wow. And combined with this music, it's just... Mmm. I'm loving it. It's only 5 in the evening, too. Alright, so now I need to find my way to civilization. Let's try to get to Berg. But we don't know where we are, so we need to make use of... Uh, we need to make use of, like... Um, whatchamacallit, points. Uh, you know, uh, landscapes? Uh, whatever, whatever the term is. Check that out over there. Some sort of um, structure over there with a weather vane on top. Face of the Ancients? Vigil Pylon. Is that a Wind Temple? If, we're, if that's the Wind Temple, then we must be looking at it from this direction. Yeah, we're looking southward. So we want to be there, the city of Berg. Berg. So we want to go east from here. What in the world is that? Are those giant honey or giant freaking beehives? And there's a bridge over there. I'm hoping that leads to a civilization. Oh, wait, so there's a lake here. Okay, I think we're going in the right direction, chat. Rabbis. So here's a lake with a bridge across it, which me so we're gonna go okay. This must be the abandoned docks. It's getting dark, but I don't want to camp here yet. I think I'd rather run to town. I still have all my money, right? Okay. Maybe I should. Wool shroom? Hmm. So we're here. We need to get there. And according to this map... The entrance should be, yeah, landmark. Landmark is the uh, term I was looking for. Yeah, give me all of them. Is this the entrance? Night's falling. This must be the entrance to Berg. Smoke route. Hmm. It says here, legend. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. All right, we're entering the city of Berg. Angry Berg. I was going to be Angry Berg for a moment there. What is this lag? What could I do for you? Hmm, interesting. What do you have to teach me? Sniper shot. Hunter's eye. Enrage. Interesting. Well, this town is fairly nice. Do you talk, lady? Oh, wow. This is a big-ass city. So much lag in this map, though. What was that? Why did I just gather wood? What can I do for you? Listen. In the holy mission? Destroy corruption with your very body, huh? Mason fusion? Doesn't require mana to use? Uh, I'm fine. I don't need that. Uh, kind of skill. Hey there. Forge golem. Interesting. What are you selling? A berserker helm? Bunch of fancy armors which cost a lot of money. And a bunch of crafting items? Hmm. Vagrancy is legal in this game. And so we will go ahead and call a night. Honestly, not only that, but I want to take a break from playing this game for a little bit. Just because I've been playing for three hours and 30 minutes straight. Mm. Oh, man. This game gets wild. I'm glad I'm able to play it properly without crashing every two seconds. Just kidding. Ah. Oh. We have a bunch of collabs coming up on this on the 19th. Going to be playing some Bardic Phone with Sensei, also known as uh, Professor Tetsuo. Anno Mutation releases in a few hours, so that's going to be fun. And I'm going to be playing some more For the King with Sao and Karma on the 26th. So that should be cool stuff to look forward to. 
I usually stop around three hour around after three hours, but this game was so being so fun today that we went way overboard. That said, I will need to look into grabbing dinner fairly soon and I'm kinda of out. Thank you everyone for showing up today. Let's see who we should visit tonight, huh? We've raided Mai several times for the past or the last three sessions, so I want to try someone new this time. Ichiban Yomu, the astronaut VTuber, is streaming right now. He's streaming Sonic. Hmm. Yeah, everyone's streaming right now, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure who to choose. Let's try and raid someone new that I'm not following just yet. How do I do this? How do I search? How do I has search? Yep. Prepare for the big drop. As soon as I remember how to look for live channels and do it by... How do I how do I search? Sort and filter. Viewers low to high. In particular, let's look for some other of YouTuber friends to follow, to visit. Let's also look based off recently started. What's up? Oh, Cryptic Open is starting soon too. What's up, Ace? That's a good idea. Can I look up debut? Is that allowed in this thing? Mm -hmm. Search all tags. Debut. Uh, debut is not a tag that I'm allowed to look up, it looks like. Or at least it's not letting me look up by debut. Well, oh, wait, no, I'm stupid. Why don't I just look up in the regular search bar? That's a good point. Uh, top channels for a debut. Remuchis with Elden Ring with 30 viewers. Okay. Quite a few do, actually. Um, let's do view all here. Tabitha Redgrave is playing Accent Core. Slot Siren is just chatting. Got a overcooked collab going here. Hmm. What about... This person is Mexican, so they're speaking Spanish. Man, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Oh! I know this person. Why didn't I think of them before? We're going to be visiting Silas Alden. Uh, Nori, Nori V and I met them in the NVTuber Discord. I haven't seen them online in a while.
prepare for the big drop. Here we go. Still, these are 